All right, Leo. Let's see what's going on with my Leos. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Leo. Let's see, what are the messages for Leo for the week? What are the messages for Leo? If you guys are new here, welcome. <clears throat> if you guys are returning, welcome back. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. Let's see what messages we got for Leo for the week. Let's see. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading spirit. You already know how we roll. So I don't know if I want to take those two because it kind of came out together, but I will read them. Frying pan, trouble, accusations, and the bow. You are highly thought of. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else is going on for Leo? Single cards. Thank you. <clears throat> you got the haystack. Karma. You will reap what you have sown. This could be good. This could be bad. Okay, it depends on what side of karma that you are on. What else do we got here for Leo? All right, you got dark man, dealings or relationship with a man of dark complexion or hair. Some of you guys could be dealing with this. A man could have a goatee, a ponytail, or some of you guys could be this masculine. And then you got karma with the haystack. You will reap what you have sown, or this dark man could be reaping karma, good or bad. I don't know yet until we clarify. Let's see, what else do we have for Leo? What else do we have for Leo? You have the table, hard work ahead. Some of you guys could be moving furniture or, or there's some type of hard work here that may be coming in. I could be talking to someone too. This is this is specific. Someone here could work for like a moving company. Um, all right, you got tank yard, celebration, fun and enjoyment. So some of you guys could be going to a party you guys could be having some drinks, enjoying yourself. I'm kind of seeing, you know, um, I don't know what those are called. A mule or something. It's like a beer that they put in like a metal can. Maybe some of you guys are having something like that. Okay. All right, let's go. One more for Leo. I don't know if I know the name. I don't know if that's the name. We got the month of January here. Okay. The cold there's icicles growing off this person's nose like looking like Pinocchio so someone here could be cold or something surrounding the month of January you could be dealing with someone who was born in the month of January <clears throat> all right what else one more you got the heart great happiness and the basket, recognition and reward for merit on the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's see. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. What is this about for my Leos? Haystack. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There could be some type of good news surrounding earthly matters coming in. Uh, this could be some type of a new beginning or developing a plan. The Hierophant, Tauran energy is here. Um, Strong Taurus energy with the King of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be starting a new business. You could be signing some type of a contract here that's going to bring in a lot of financial stability, financial gain. Okay. You could be learning something new. Some of you guys could be students. Some of you guys could be teachers. Um, what else? Karma. Your repo you have sold. You got the Six of Swords. So that talks about moving forward towards calmer waters. Okay, finding some type of peace after maybe some type of a storm. Um, but this is progress. This is being guided, being led into a new direction where there's more peace, harmony. Okay, you guys could be going on a trip, maybe by boat, taking some type of a journey. Whatever this is, it's overcoming some type of a hardship. You got the Page of Swords and the Reverse Dam and the Seven of Swords. Someone here could be spying. Um, someone here could also catch somebody in a lie. Uh, bad, disappointing news with the Page of Swords in the reverse and then the Seven of Swords. So there could be some type of lies, deceit, trickery, uh, scheming, underhanded. Or someone here is just being very strategic. Someone here may not be communicating.
Hmm. That's, that shit took a turn. Maybe you're moving away from someone who you may have gotten some type of disappointing news. Someone here could be very defensive or a player. Someone here could be sneaking around, doing some shady. I hope this isn't someone you're in a commitment with. Um, this is crazy because it's like there's some type of good news. Some of you guys could be receiving messages from like a higher power, from source, from God. Okay, show me seven of swords. Could be dealing with a younger air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy is here as well. All right, air and earth. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. What's the Page of Swords in the reverse? So there is, I don't know if someone's lying about money or there's some type of, someone doing something strategically for money. What's the Page of Swords in the reverse? Or coming up with some type of strategy. Uh, the Lover's in the reverse, damn. So there's, if you're in a union with someone, Gemini energy, there's some type of disharmony, distrust, imbalance, some type of conflict or lack of account of, lack of accountability. Someone here is definitely keeping something. Someone here is definitely doing something that's deceitful, untrustworthy. There's some type of ba bad choice or decision. You could be deciding to move away from this energy. Um... Or someone else could be. Show me dark man. What's up with this man? What's up with this dark man? We got the nine of cups. What is up with this dark man? You got the emperor. Aries energy. You got the nine of cups. Three of pentacles. Someone here could be getting together with others, maybe having some type of drinks, or there's some type of wish fulfillment when it comes to a collaboration. Um, the Emperor is Aries energy, it's a boss, it's a father figure. This could be a strong masculine energy. Um, maybe a father, maybe a boss, maybe, you know, someone who's very protective. Okay, tell me more about this dark man. Maybe you're working with this person. And this is your wish fulfillment. King of Wands just showed itself in King of Cups. Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Knight of Wands. So, I feel like there's also, this whoever this energy is, this is someone who's very mature, grounded. They are in control of their emotions. With the Knight of Wands energy, though, what is the Knight of Wands? This could be someone who's very energetic, they're fearless, they go after what it is that they want. Okay, this is someone who's a very passionate, okay, and the devil. So someone here could have some type of sex addictions, um, or I feel like this man is someone who's very protective, they're loving, um, they're very authoritative and dominating, but with the devil and the knight of wands, this person may make reckless decisions or they could be impulsive, uh, there could be some type of overindulgent energy here as well, someone may move too quickly, make decisions out of haste, there could be addictions, mental health issues, dependencies, and some, and it doesn't have to be all that stuff. It could just be one of those things. <clears throat> all right, show me hard work ahead. The sun card. There you are, Leo. Actually, let me go back. What is this devil? Ten of Cups. Show me the devil. Page of Cups, Ten of Cups. Someone here may like want to apologize to you. Um, the Sun, the Ten of Cups. You, you're gaining some type of clarity about a family dynamic. 
There could be a pregnancy here for some, not for all of you, but the Sun card can talk about fertility, pregnancy, the Ten of Cups can be a family with children, and the Page of Cups could be a child, especially with the fish in this cup. Okay, tell me more hard work ahead. And then the Page of Cups again. Someone here may have two children and one on the way. Oh, oh. Strong water energy, and there goes the devil again. And the Knight of Cups. It's like somebody here could be feeling sad or regretful, crying over spilled milk, wanting to like have some type of success and victory. Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. Someone here wants to come in and express their emotions and apology, like, but with the devil here. Again, it's like someone here could be obsessed or just possessive and controlling. Hmm. I'll put that page of cuts back. I get it. Spirit. Hard work ahead. What's the devil here again for? <coughs> the night. Oh my god. Do you see this? Okay. The same thing. When the devil came out with the night of ones earlier, I just asked what was the devil and it came out with the night of ones. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Could be a Sag, doesn't have to be Capricorn. But someone here is like, this could be a sex addiction like that someone here has or The Page of Swords, too, can be a player in the reverse. With the Seven of Swords, there's someone who, who's like, they're a player, they're, you know, they tell little white lies, they're not quite honest, they don't communicate very well, um, they're dishonest, or they just tell little petty white lies. Seven of, the lovers in the reverse, there's no trust. I don't know if this is someone you're in a commitment with, or this is the lovers, this is soulmate connection, but there's disharmony, there's disunion here. You could be moving away from this person. Maybe you don't trust this person. There's no trust here. I wonder if someone's trying to like offer commitment or an apology or um, So you have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Show me celebration, fun, and enjoyment. I just feel like there's someone here who's like, there's love. There is love. But I feel like someone here has some like toxic ways, you know? The devil coming out twice with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands isn't always a bad card, but next to the devil, it definitely is. There's someone who doesn't really think before they act. They just do. This could be someone who's a hothead, a show off. They could have addictions. They could be controlling or possessive or they, you know. Um, this could be someone in your family, someone you're married to, someone you share a family with. <sighs> mm -hmm. Someone doesn't trust someone and someone's moving away from a player-like energy. There's a lack of accountability. I do feel like there's love. It's like someone's in love with, I don't want to say the potential, but like, Something here could grow into something very beautiful, but somebody here is like they're they got some ways. You're dealing with someone who's in and out, they're flighty, and then they're controlling, and then they're possessive. It's like someone who who could be like 
They want control, but they want to do whatever the fuck they want to do. Thank you, Spirit. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. That's twisted. Show me celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Queen of Cups and the de uh, Death card. Okay, so... Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy doesn't have to be, but there's a feminine energy here. I got the King of Cups out here as well. Again, I do feel like there's so many energy here, but the Death card, if this Queen of Cups is you or someone else, whoever this person is, I feel like they, they've changed, okay, or there's some type of an ending. This person could be going to a party or celebrating or they're just enjoying themselves, self-love, self-care, okay? With the death card, there's some type of a spiritual transformation here that this person, whether it's you or someone else, may have gone through. Um, there could be some type of unexpected upheaval that causes some type of change and there's a need to release something. Or someone has released something. Yeah, this Queen of Cups, it's showing up again. Whoever this Queen of Cups is. The Moon, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Okay. The Moon can talk about fear, illusions, dreams. Things that are hidden, the unknown. Someone here may have a water placement moon sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio moon. Six of Cups. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Hmm. Six of Cups talks about like children, the past, nostalgia, memories, reunions, that youthful, innocent, childlike energy. Oh, what about the moon? Judgment. Someone here has called judgment on a situation. They've learned some type of a lesson. They've done some type of self-evaluating. The moon. They may be... They may be hiding the fact that they've called judgment on a situation. Show me the death card. Or this is just someone who's doing some type of evaluating about the past. Death card. Five of Pentacles. Someone's leaving something. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. All right. Show me January. Page of Cups. So someone could have apologized in January, or maybe someone who was born in the month of January could be apologizing, or just... Um, there could have been something about dreams or messages here. Nine of swords in the river. Someone is letting go. I got two cards. Oh. Someone here, the illusion has been shattered around a situation. Nine of swords in reverse. Someone here is letting go of fear. Um, they can see something clearly. January. Oh, January. Six of cups again. <laughs> Knight of pentacles. Some type of past memories could have resurfaced in the month of January. What's going on here? Like, what is this? Spirit, January. I definitely feel like someone here has gained some type of, like, clarity, truth. And they're taking action or sending some type of message of truth. Show me January. What? Stop it. Single cards, please, spirit. Not doing this monkey business. Show me January. You may have a lot of options here, Leo. I don't know what that has to do with January. You could have received a message from someone in your past, or maybe somebody wants to take something slow. And you don't know where to stand, or you may be looking at other options. Various swords. There's, some, I don't know. There's something here that like.
caused some type of heartbreak. There could have been a third party. La -da 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 -da. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. So someone here was very slow to return. Possibly someone here may have fear of change or fear of moving on. Someone here may be wanting to like reach out to someone in their past or someone from your past may have reached out to you. Um, and this person could be someone who's re wanting to return to your life. But this could be someone who broke your heart, you, you know, was looking at other options, made you an option, created a lot of confusion for you. Show me great happiness. La 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 la. Two of Wands. So I see you making a choice or a decision here. Oh, Tower in the reverse. That talks about resisting some type of change. Great happiness. So there could be some type of support, assistance, generosity coming towards you. Maybe something surrounding an investment or... What's the tower in the reverse? Because that talks about delaying the inevitable. Um, resist, like, it can also talk about avoiding some type of disaster. Um, nine of swords in the reverse and five of swords. What the hell is this? There is definitely someone here who has like some type of fear of change. What's the Five of Swords? The Star. And the Queen of Swords. Strong Aquarius energy is out here. Someone may want to, like, say, tell someone, like, hey, I want to heal something. I, you know, I want to resolve some type of conflict, let go of something. I don't want something to change. Um,. I want equal give and take. I've made a choice. I've made a decision. I want happiness. I want peace. Someone could be telling someone that. Or someone could be um, wanting to heal things with an ex. Or you could be. Anyways. Five of swords and two of swords again. What? What's that seven of swords energy? You know, someone here could also be jealous and like that you're ignoring them. Someone could be trying to play mind games with you, trying to one up you because maybe, you know, someone here could also have divided loyalties, but I feel someone here is like, someone here has like made a clear minded decision to heal from something and there's someone else here who I feel like doesn't like that because they're resisting change or they don't want some type of change, but this person has already changed or tra transformed in some type of way. Or you have, whatever, flip the roles. I feel like one one party has one party has like taken accountability for their actions or for whatever maybe even chose to forgive a situation change transform um, and there's another person who I feel like is being petty because someone else is moving on or moving forward or just healing or progressing in life and someone here is not to be trusted someone here is flighty they're in and out they're possessive they're controlling i do see that there is love between these two like a deep love 
could be even an unspoken love. But if someone here has like toxic ways and they're always trying to like one up the other person, it's at a stalemate. Someone may be trying to like I feel like someone here is very direct with whoever this person is who causes this indecision, causes these delays, causes mind games. Someone here is very direct. This could be a healer. This could be someone who, you know, is very inspirational. Yeah, all right, leave that there. All right, you got manifestations. A bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. Personal riches, small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get rich schemes. And you got society, say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new uh, and new love interest for singles will be the result. Okay, so I feel like your manifestations could be coming in here. I don't know. I feel like something's weird here, but oh yeah, twenty-seven. Show me those nine of cups, ten of swords. Yeah, someone. Show me the emperor again. Eight of cups. Show me the. The King of Cups. Mm, too many. Someone here. Um, I feel like someone is like selfish. This is like someone who will walk all over anybody. Like Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords. Someone who does, like, in order to get what they want, they will betray somebody, stab somebody in their back, the emperor, they just walk away emotionally, or they have, or they will, or they're going to. King of Cups, please. The Four of Cups. This person gets bored easily. That's their problem. This person entertains third parties. And, like, they get bored easily. Someone here could also be rejecting someone because of a third party, or someone here is just looking at their options. All right, I'm going to leave this reading here, Leo. I hope that this helped. Um, if it did, let me know by smashing that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.